So Aditya, to begin with, let's make things interesting. Our today's discussion is going to be around mutual funds and the power of compounding. So for someone who doesn't care about investing, who feels that invest करके क्या ही हो जाएगा, can you give an example like if they are investing, let's say ten k a month, how much that money can amount to for let's say in a period of twenty five thirty years? ठीक है, so Sanskar, firstly you know that's a great place to start I think because um, people only invest when they know what they are going to get out of it. बिकॉज अदरवाइज यार वॉट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग आप इन्वेस्ट करते जाओ उसके बाद कुछ मिला नहीं तो फिर यू नो इट्स कम्प्लीटली पॉइंटलेस तो इफ यू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग लेट्स इफ यूर अ ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड ओके दैट मीन्स यू हैव एटलीस्ट थर्टी ईयर्स टू योर रिटायरमेंट एटलीस्ट आई नो एवरी वन वॉन्ट्स टू रिटायर एट फोर्टी बट द रियालिटी इज प्रॉब्ली रिटायर बिटवीन सिक्सटी सिक्सटी फाइव बट लेट्स से ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड यू स्टार्ट इन्वेस्टिंग टेन थाउजेंड अ मंथ और आपके पास से तीस पैंतीस साल है रिटायरमेंट के लिए Now, if you just put your money in an index fund or a flexi cap fund, or assume कर लो कि 12% percent uh, average long term return आपको मिले, okay? And let's say you increase your SIP amount by 5% percent every year, okay? So today for 12 months you start with 10,000, then you increase that by 5% percent next year. You can get approximately 5 CR, so 5 crore in 30 years time. This is assuming a 12% return, but that's not the whole story because we have to think about inflation. Because ठीक है पांच करोड़ बहुत है आज के दिन में, but then what will it get you in 30 years time? So if you account for inflation, let's take it at 6%. So that comes to somewhere between you know 85, uh, about 85, 90 lakhs in today's value. ठीक है now ask yourself this: any 25 year old today, if you had 85 lakhs to 90 lakhs in your bank account today, would you be happy? I think yes. Right. So, then, even if that five CR in later value is worth eighty, ninety lakhs today, I think that's a good deal. Yeah. Or, jitna bhi aap uh, SIP amount increase kar lo, step up percentage increase kar lo, utna zada aapko returns milenge baad mein. It's as simple as that. So, how can you figure out how much money should one be investing? Great. So, basically, there are three ways to figure this out. I'll tell you the easiest way first. And a lot of people in their twenties, um, I have realized because I speak to hundreds of people about this. uh they they like to start with this approach ki keep about 20% for your um investments so jo bhi aapko in hand salary milta hai after all deductions usme se 20% nikalo sip start kar lo usme se um so you know to keep it very simple you have a 50000 uh, monthly income take 10000 and start an sip with that if you have a 30000 monthly income take 6000 whatever it is कोई सबके लिए अलग 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 होता है यार यू कैन से कि इट्स द सेम रूल फॉर एवरीवन और एवरीवन विल बी एबल टू इन्वेस्ट द सेम अमाउंट ऑफ मनी सो 20 परसेंट इज अ गुड प्लेस टू स्टार्ट नाउ इफ यू कैन डू मोर देन 20 परसेंट तो वो तो बहुत ही अच्छा होगा इफ यू कैन डू 30 40 परसेंट कभी ऐसा भी होता है कि पीपल आर लिविंग एट होम पीपल आर लिविंग विद द पेरेंट्स उनका रेंट नहीं है उनका ई एम आई नहीं है स्पेशली एट द अर्ली स्टेज ऑफ द करियर तो क्यों ना ट्वेंटी परसेंट से ज्यादा कर ले आई मीन नो हार्म इन दैट so uh, 20% as a minimum if you can but yeah life is different for everyone and honestly um, do as much as you can that's the first uh, the first approach is 20% of income second approach is you create a budget um and you let's say for example that you are earning 50000 in a month okay and that is your income coming in hand and let's say your expenses outgoing are 20000 okay to keep things very that means your surplus is 30000 at the end of the month now for many young people early stage career this is actually quite uh, this is a reality okay. now if you have 30000 surplus at the end of the month you can let's say take take um, 20000 out of that and put that in the market um so that you have some buffer in your bank account if you feel ki ha mujhe bank account mein bhi kuch chahiye you know sara mera jo surplus paisa hai wo invest nahi hona chahiye कुछ हाथ में भी होना चाहिए पीपल फील लाइक यू नो बैंक अकाउंट में भी कुछ होना चाहिए सो इन दैट केस यू नो कीप टेन थाउजेंड इन योर अकाउंट पुट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन द मार्केट द अदर मोस्ट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वे विच वंस यू स्टार्ट एंड यू लर्न मोर अबाउट दिस यू कैन फाइंड आउट इज गोल बेस्ड इन्वेस्टिंग तो मैंने इस पे रील्स भी बनाए एंड आई शेड लिंक्स ऑल्सो वे पीपल कैन डू दिस फॉर दम सेल्स सपोज आई वॉन्ट टू सेव फॉर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई टॉक अबाउट माई सेल्फ ओके आई वॉन्ट टू सेव फॉर माई चिल्ड्रेन एजुकेशन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन तो मुझे पहले आज डिसाइड करना पड़ेगा कि आज के मनी वैल्यू में हाउ मच डू आई नीड फॉर देयर एजुकेशन 
टू कीप इट वेरी सिंपल इफ आई से फिफ्टी लैख आज के वैल्यू में चाहिए देन द नेक्स्ट कैलकुलेशन इज वॉट डज दैट इक्वल टू आफ्टर फैक्टरिंग इन्फ्लेशन सिक्सटीन ईयर्स डाउन द लाइन एट दैट बी मल्टीपल क्रोर्स तो उस नंबर पाने के बाद देन यू हैव टू डू अ बैक कैलकुलेशन एंड सी ठीक है टू रीच आई डोंट लेट्स कॉल इट फोर क्रोर्स टू रीच रीच फोर क्रोर्स हाउ मच डू आई नीड टू इन्वेस्ट पर मंथ दीज आर सिंपल कैलकुलेशन देर आर कैलकुलेटर्स अवेलेबल फॉर दिस ऑनलाइन बट यू जस्ट क्विकली रैप दैट अप इधर ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ इनकम और अबाउट एट्टी परसेंट ऑफ योर सरप्लस और गोल्ड बेस्ड इन्वेस्टिंग तो मान लेते हैं कि someone has figured out ki i have to invest this much amount of money let's say 10k or 15k so how should they invest that how should they divide that money theek hai so this you know the biggest mistake that people make is to complicate investing aur zyada analysis ho jata hai aur fir it is it is followed by paralysis so analysis paralysis is what we call it uh the best thing is to keep it simple and you know if you are a young person and you are investing anywhere up to 20000 per month i'm very comfortable telling people just look at one mutual fund wo flexi cap fund ho sakta hai index fund ho sakta hai these are the obvious two options uh flexi cap fund ek fund category hai jisme fund manager manager decide karenge ki kaun se stocks buy karna hai kaun se sell karna hai kaun se hold karna hai aur market situation ke hisab se they will take a call on their strategy uh index funds on the other hand are it's called passive investing uh where the fund manager will track or copy an index to india mein sabse you know popular indexes are sensex and nifty 50 so these are the representative of the biggest companies on the stock exchange to agar aap index fund mein invest kar rahe ho to then you are choosing a passive approach jahan fund manager wo sirf index ko track kar lega apne fund mein apne mutual fund mein so either flexi cap fund hoga which is active investing fund managers actively strategizing and trying to maximize profits nahi to fir passive investing index fund mein jaise ki nifty 50 index fund ho sakta hai nahi to fir bsc 500 index fund bhi acha hoga you mentioned ki someone investing anywhere between under 20k should follow this approach so i want to ask you ki is an sib of 5k enough well it may be think of it this way someone earning 15000 a, a month because yaar india is a very diverse country you have people earning multiple lakhs a month and you have people earning 10000 rupees a month and less theek hai so for someone earning 15000 a month they should not feel yaar ki 5000 mein kya hoga they should also be encouraged to invest so 5000 for someone earning 15000 that's you know about one that's one third right so about 33% of their income so it's a big deal for them right so investing is better than not investing so if as we said someone who puts in 10000 unka final retirement corpus ho jayega some 5 crore in future value so someone investing 5000 will get half of that assuming the same other variables so i mean it's a big amount for someone who's currently earning 15000 so whatever the amount is 1000 bhi ho sakta hai 2000 ho sakta hai nahi to fir 1 lakh ho sakta hai mahine ka the sip amount is not as important as being consistent so two things are important i think sanskar um one is uh, consistency and automation so i think you know the best way to be consistent with your sips is to uh, with your investments is to set up an sip aur sip hota kya hai basically aap agar monthly investment ko automate kar lo to us, usko hum kehte hai sip because if you manually put your investment that's a lump sum purchase or sip is an automation you are just telling your uh, bank ki yaar mere funds har mahine transfer honge is mutual fund mein jane wale hain that's about it so uh, as long as you set it for the beginning of the month let's say the 5th of the month aapka 5000 10000 15000 jitna bhi ja raha hai then it goes automatically from your account and it gets invested and then you don't have to worry about investments mere ho rahe hai ki nahi ho rahe you have to treat it like a utility bill jaise aapka light ka bill hoga now if you don't pay your light bill what will happen now we pay it because we know that if we don't pay it then our light ka connection start cut jayega so what is the repercussion of not investing the repercussion of not investing is then who will pay for you later on in life right? so your sip basically is your salary for your future self this is important because look if you don't have a pension coming later in life then how are you going to pay for your retirement expenses how are you going to pay for your kids education 
how will you pay for a home which you may want to do ye sara jo aap ikattha kar rahe ho and everything that is going in the sip uska matlab main aim to yahi hai ki baad mein aapko income mile usse retirement mein ya to fir aapke bachcho ka education ka fees bhar jaye ya to fir aapko down payment mile right so then these are the various things that you will get so not investing has a big repercussion uh, not only we should not only think about how much you will get by investing but also what all you will not get if you don't invest people feel investing is complex you need to know much about markets and everything so what they do is they simply do an fd simply put their money in a savings account or i mean they just opt for simpler options because they feel that it's complicated so what would you suggest that people should uh, invest in mutual funds on their own or should they take the help of some advisor or some distributor if you are interested in investing and in markets um if you have the knowledge and if you have the time then do it on your own become a diy investor three things you have the knowledge you have the um time and you are interested in it if all three boxes can be ticked then go ahead be a diy investor you'll save on any advisor or distributor fees and more you'll keep more money for yourself right now if any of these is not there then i suggest going with an advisor or a distributor either one whoever you trust so because if you have the knowledge but you don't have the time then also your portfolio will suffer और आपके पास अगर नॉलेज और टाइम है पर इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तो आप करोगे नहीं ठीक से तो देन आल्सो योर पोर्टफोलियो विल सफर सो इफ एनी वन ऑफ दिस थ्री आर नॉट देयर देन गो वर्क विद समवन ऐसा भी होता है कि समटाइम्स व्हेन पीपल आर यंग दे मे स्टार्ट ऑन देयर ओन बिकॉज़ दे फील यार मैं तो कुछ भी कर सकता हूं मैं ये करूंगा वो करूंगा आई विल बीट द मार्केट म्यूचुअल फंड्स तो क्या देते हैं 12 15% देते हैं मुझे तो 30% 40% चाहिए दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन थिंग यू हियर फॉर फ्रॉम यंग पीपल सो दे स्टार्ट आउट ऑन देयर ओन फिर बेयर मार्केट आ जाता है देन दे लूज मनी and then they approach someone when they start earning more kabhi kabhi aisa bhi hota hai ki people start with someone else but then they learn the process on the way and then they shift to diy so i hope that helps answer the question to sir agar aaj ki date mein maan lete hain some 25 year old is listening to us and they want to start investing from step 0 so can you please share like what should be their actionable steps to start investing their money which platforms to use how much money to invest Okay so the firstly how much money to invest start with 20% of your in hand monthly income simple second what to invest in look at flexi cap funds or index funds let me keep it very simple i'll give you one specific look at flexi cap funds theek hai why confuse people theek hai to our amount ho gaya 10000 per month hamara fund type ho gaya flexi caps and sir why is Now, that why flexi cap because flexi cap is the most uh, it's a true outsourcing of your investment because you're basically telling the fund manager yaar mera paisa le lo aur mere liye manage kar lo because the fund manager will then put it in large cap mid cap small cap based on their own idea of what is doing best in the market so that's the simplest way to do it main ye nahi keh raha hu ki flexi cap is better than index fund but i'm saying doing something is better than nothing so either index funds or flexi cap funds use either of them बट कीप इन माइंड अगर आप एक्विटी में में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो दैट मीन स्टॉक मार्केट में इधर डायरेक्टली या फिर म्यूचुअल फंड्स के थ्रू यू नीड एटलीस्ट अ फाइव सिक्स ईयर टाइम होराइजन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू कांट रिमेन इन्वेस्टेड फॉर एटलीस्ट फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स देन इट्स टू रिस्की टू पुट योर मनी इन फ्लेक्सी कैप और इंडेक्स फंड ठीक है तो वो एजम्पन हम पार्क कर लेंगे कि फाइव सिक्स ईयर्स के एटलीस्ट ये इन्वेस्टमेंट्स होने वाला है नाउ हाउ टू पिक विच फ्लेक्सी कैप फंड टू यूज Now, after speaking to lots of people, yeah, I have come up with this general formula for most people to start. Go to valueresearchonline.com. ठीक है, valueresearchonline.com. उसमें categories के के इसमें से perspective से आप filter कर सकते हो. So click on um, flexi cap mutual funds. और flexi cap mutual funds से filter on star rating. So value research gives a star rating from one to five. for all the mutual funds that they track which is almost the whole market so if you select flexi cap then sort by star rating to aapko five star rating ke jo bhi funds hai wo pehle dikh jayenge so i would say just pick any five star fund 
and invest in it. It's as simple as that. Because that fund rating has been given based on a lot of research and a lot of analysis, right? More than you or I have the time to do. So instead of trying to become financial experts, you can do your time, pe, you, know, you can do courses and you can read books and you can learn. But before you reach that stage, if you don't have expertise in today's day, then you can just go into valueresearch.com, flexicap funds, filter by star, look at any five-star rated fund and start your investment in that fund. It's as simple. And then you just have to do this because there's not much to do because whatever you do is mutual fund ki under hi hota hai. So if there are any stocks to buy and sell, the mutual fund manager will do that. Right? So your job is only to invest and it's the fund manager's job to actually do the buying and selling. So this is the simplest way to do it. Then you just have to keep track of your investments. Check your portfolio maybe two times a month. Not more than that, my advice. Check it two times a month. Uh, and just make sure that, you know, that rating of your fund remains strong. Sometimes you put in a money in a fund today that is five stars. It falls to three stars because it has a bad year or two years. And that's okay. So don't be too quick to change. There needs to be a compelling reason for you to change. So while you start investing, you'll also learn about those things. Sir, you mentioned that you have to check your check your portfolio. Now, I want to ask you, why investing in mutual funds, is it advisable to check your portfolio and look at the status of your portfolio or just to let compounding do its thing? Yeah, the best thing is to be a long-term buy and hold investor and to let compounding do its thing. The biggest mistake people make is to try and actively trade. Um, I can't remember the exact numbers. Maybe you also heard this. But I think Zeroda released numbers uh, based on their own stats. And I think it was 34, 93 to 94% of active traders lose money. Right? I think this is the stat. Uh, don't quote me on this, but we can do some uh, Googling on this. Um, so, you know, do you want to be in that, you know, active trader category that loses money? Or do you want to be a buy and hold investor who will make money? Because no one who's invested in the market more than, you know, about five, six years has in, in any time frame has ever lost money. So that is something to keep in mind. Or I say that, you know, don't check it more than two times because if you know, refresh, refresh, karte jao, then you feel like mujhe kuch karna maybe I should sell this. Or then you buy it. The market is falling today, so you should take something. You're picking, bolte isko. that means when the market falls. You pick the best uh, stocks that you want to, but leave that for the experts, leave that for the fund managers, check it twice a month. Uh, and that's about it. Sir, commonly, people think that mutual funds may invest in risky, hai. but they, at that time, they are thinking about active investing, active trading. If you have put your I think that's very much safe. Uh, there is no way to go away from the fact that the stock market has risk. So if you invest in equity mutual funds, you can't escape the risk. We call this market risk. The risk that the market will go up, market will go down. So we need to factor that risk into our investments. So Islam says the best risk management strategy is to be a long-term investor. Ha. Investing in the market for one day is very risky because market can go up tomorrow, but it can go up tomorrow. Market Agle hafte, upar bhi ho sakta hai 10%, niche bhi gir sakta hai 10%. Agle mahine ke liye bhi we can't say ki upar hoga 12% ki niche hoga 5% ya jo bhi hai. But we can say with, you know, confidence based on historical data ki 5, 6, 7 saal ke baad market to api hoga. Kyunki what happens is the market is, you know, very shaky in the short term, but it rises up in the long term. So I, I'll just, you know, complete, I'll just complete that thought by saying this. If, if someone is scared about investing, then the most important thing is not to actively try to time the market. Now, timing the market, ki, I think based on my analysis, ki agle market 10% se jaga, so I'm going to keep my money in my bank account or fir wo crash aane ke baad, main aur mutual fund units. Utha lunga. That is called trying to time the market. Uh, this is a losing strategy because no one can say when the market will rise and when it will fall. But look, I understand markets quite well. I can also be right 50% wrong 50% of the time. 
but you just need to be badly wrong one time if you're risking all your money on your prediction to aapke prediction ke hisab se mat jao tv prediction ke hisab se bhi mat jao don't listen to any expert who's trying to predict it you just keep your investments going strong as long as the indian market remains strong indian economy remains strong aapka paisa bhi compound hote jayega year on year sir going back to an earlier discussion you were talking about agar paisa invest nahi karoge to who will pay for your expenses in your future when you get old but i think as a 20 25 year old people are not this mature ki they think of that far in the future they just think ki let's buy this 5000 rupee shoes or that mobile phone or that extra gear which can help them bring more likes on social media right but to make people aware what can be done and why should people focus more towards investing as opposed to just spending away all their salaries so there are two things that we need to take care of here one is our you know our needs what we want yaar mujhe naya phone chahiye kyun chahiye bas chahiye naya phone nikal aaya hai to mujhe chahiye launch hua hai to launch hua hai mujhe lena padega abhi okay so that is the attitude that is also you know valid and you know for someone like you for example sanskar you are a content creator now for you buying a new phone is not just a need uh, not just a want but it's also partially a need because you may feel like my content creation journey will be better but for people for whom that's not a necessity fine they need to keep some money aside for that new phone that you know zomato bill per month and all that stuff so that's why all that the, the easiest way to do this is create a budget right you need to take care of your today's needs and your tomorrow's needs so your today's needs are your phone your eating out your movie with your friends your new camera your new mic your new shoes ya yeah, jo bhi hai okay your experiences vacation pe jana experiences uh, your tomorrow's needs are for you and your family which of course 25 year olds don't like to think about par matlab uske bare mein to sochna hi padega kabhi na kabhi right so if you can split it into these two things these two categories and you said theek hai i will budget in my monthly budget ka ek excel sheet bana ke rakh lo us budget mein aapke sare needs bhi aa jayenge to mutual uh, uh, mobile phone ke liye x amount of money to save per month zomato ke liye mera budget hai x 1000 per month uh, movies ke liye mera budget hai y whatever it is then if that gets taken care of from your income and it is already budgeted in your excel sheet uske baad jo bhi surplus hai that can go into investing Right, so that's one way to manage it. Now, yeah, this is just a fact of life. That when I was 25 year old, okay, ठीक है, I thought about investing, but I thought about lots of other things also. Uh, and some things just come with age. So ऐसा नहीं है कि if you're not investing by 25, your life is over. कि your future is over. कि you're destroying yourself. ऐसा नहीं है. Uh, we speak to people who are even at 40 are just starting out. Now I don't recommend that. ठीक है, but you know. so the more knowledge you have the more likely you are to invest uh, from a young age um if you don't want to invest too much money at least do a little bit uh jitna aapka comfort level ho and then increase it uh, you know as you as you mature mm. in age and as you get more right. experience sir is it ever too late to start investing sir yeah. my answer is simple no Man. it's not I don't like this approach. I hate it when people say, "Yeah, it's too late for you," or "It's too late for me," um, because what does that mean? Yeah, too late for what? If we say it's too late, so then, meaning too late for something. So maybe, okay. If I, if a 45-year-old starts today, and they want to retire at 55, can they get a 10 crore portfolio to retire? Maybe, maybe not, depending on their income. Maybe not. Okay, so. maybe they won't be able to live their dream life but jo bhi hai they can make the best use of their money so the point of investing is not to reach some you know fairy tale goal the point is to make the best use of the money that you have you know, i'm a very realistic guy for investments that way main aisa nahi sochta hu ki you know you need to have your 25x of your current income uh, expenses that becomes your fire number fir us fire number ke hisab se you start investing you just invest based on your realities of today keeping in mind that you need some money for income in the future um and once you start now you will we have seen that automatically once people start and they see ki investing ka effect hota kya hai 
इन्वेस्टिंग से रिटर्न भी आते हैं वो उस रिटर्न को आप यूज भी कर सकते हैं और फिर वो कंपाउंडिंग का भी इफेक्ट आ जाता है और लोग जब वो देखते हैं ना ऐप पे तो ऑटोमेटिकली उनका एस अमाउंट बढ़ जाता है सो दैट्स द इफेक्ट ऑफ सीइंग समथिंग सो रादर देन गेटिंग स्केर्ड बाय यार आई एम टू लेट वो नंबर मुझे मतलब आउट ऑफ रीच हो गया है अभी जस्ट स्टार्ट सी द इफेक्ट ऑफ दैट एंड देन ऑटोमेटिकली यू वांट टू इन्वेस्ट मोर सर करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग आई थिंक देयर आर थ्री टर्म्स एस आई पी एस डब्ल्यू पी एंड एस टी पी सो देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ कंफ्यूजन अबाउट दिस बट इट्स वेरी सिंपल एस आई पी is when automatically money goes from your bank account to a mutual fund for example 5000 rupees every month into um sbi flexi cap fund just an example that is sip that is a mode of investing from your salary now swp is the opposite when money goes from a mutual fund into your bank account aur ye hota hai useful retirees ke liye most of the time this is not for young people because young people don't need to take out their investment they need to put in their investment so young people aapke audience ke liye sip is the most important aapke audience ke parents ke liye swp important hoga kyunki swp mein kya hota hai ki aap accumulate karte aa rahe ho mutual funds mein and you have your x crore or x lakh portfolio aur aapko usme se bhi nikalna hai kyunki aapko aapke investments mein se income chahiye so when you automate money from your mutual funds to your bank account for monthly expenses ya jo bhi ho usko swp kehte hain so suppose you need 50000 every month for your expenses so you put in a standing instruction ki every month automatically 50000 goes from x mutual fund into your bank account to sip ho gaya swp ho gaya aur in between hai stp systematic transfer plan uh, this is to invest a lump sum so if you have a lump sum amount in your bank account and you want to invest it investing all the money into an equity fund today is very dangerous because kal market crash bhi ho sakta hai think about it this way if you have you know you're a young guy you started your career you've accumulated 1 lakh rupees it's a big deal aur aap usko aaj uh, market mein invest kar le in next month market falls 20% let's say your investment goes down to down to 80000 most people will panic and they will take their money out so to avoid this behavior because that's the worst thing to do no you need to put more money in when the market falls so to avoid this behavior stp is when you transfer that 1 lakh or whatever amount to a safe debt fund so debt funds may be kafi sare categories hote hain uh, the safest are liquid funds and ultra short duration funds usually to aap aapke bank account mein se safe debt fund mein paisa dal do step 1 or step 2 you set up a transfer from that safe debt fund into your target equity funds very simple example 1 lakh goes from your bank account to sbi liquid fund this sbi liquid fund is a very safe debt fund from there the money automatically gets transferred into sbi flexi cap fund jo equity fund hai to ye debt fund mein aapka paisa safe hoga stock market ke sath fluctuate nahi hoga you will get around fd type returns and the money is month on month being transferred into the fund that you actually want to be invested for the long term equity ka jo fund hai the advantage of this is the two advantages the money goes out of your bank account so you don't end up spending it unnecessarily theek hai wo naye phone ke liye and the second advantage is that at least you get some sort of return from the debt fund kyunki aapke bank account mein kya you know 2% or something you will get debt fund mein you will get about you know 6 and a half 7% just like FDs. So those two advantages are there. Sir, I've often heard कि अगर आपको अपना destination नहीं पता होगा, तो you will not be able to make a plan and reach there. So in terms of personal finance, अगर मैं break down करूँ, what I'm trying to say is अगर आपको एक end amount नहीं पता है, कि आपको let's say at the age of forty five fifty ये आपके पास इतना amount होना चाहिए, तो you won't be able to reach there. तो मेरा सवाल ये है यहाँ पे कि how can someone identify कि आई वॉन्ट दिस पंच अमाउंट ऑफ मनी बाय द एज ऑफ फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फाइव लाइक लेट्स इट्स रैंडम नंबर या फिर देर हैज टू बी सम कैलकुलेशन टू इट द सिंपलेस्ट कैलकुलेशन इज टू यूज द नंबर आई सेड ओलियर आई यूज इट इन अ डिफरेंट कॉन्टेक्स बट लाइक से ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स योर एक्सपेंसिस सो इफ यू रीच ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स योर एक्सपेंसिस इफ यू टेक योर एक्सपेंसिस इन वन ईयर एंड मल्टीप्लाई दैट इन टू ट्वेंटी फाइव that is the amount of money that you will need to retire as a very simple rule of thumb theek hai now you can always start with that 
So if you want a number, take that 25 um, expenses for the year, multiply it by 25. That is your final corpus ka number. So this is gold-based investing, which I was So then whatever that number is, then you go and use a calculator to find out how much do I need to invest every month to reach that uh, amount. And I can share those calculators with you, the links with you publicly available. You can put it in the show notes also. So that's one thing. The other thing that Sanskar, just about this goal, having a goal is important. But yeah, in reality, many times, if the goal is too daunting, na, then people take their mind off it. Because human beings are not only calculative creatures. Yeah. We don't only look at numbers and say, and then we take step one, step two, step three. What happens with some people is the goal motivates them. That's great. Some people, the goal will deflect their attention because they'll feel like, okay, I need 5 CR to retire, but yeah, I'll never be able to make 5 CR. I have 5,000, 7,000 dollars. So what's the benefit? I have to buy a place in So this attitude is attitude, right? So that's why I say people should not bother themselves too much with these big numbers. Your goal in the beginning can be invest at least 20% of your income. Because you can look at goals two ways. No? You can look at it as a future destination or you can look at it as a present. I have to present. My present goal is invest 20%. So whatever works for you. Because you have to take personal psychology into perspective. If you are the type who feels like, yeah, mujhe bolo, aaj kitna invest karna hai based on my income, 20-30% ho gaya. They'll do it. Because they will not be daunted by that big number in the future. Some people are driven by big numbers in the future. But they should not feel that everyone is driven by the same thing. Sir, also could you throw some light on uh, buying health insurance, life insurance? Like, uh, how should someone go about planning it? For most people, there are three essentials in India in personal finance. Uh, one is your SIP, one is your private health insurance, one is your uh, term life insurance. SIP ke baare mein toh baat kar liya hai. Apart from emergency fund, of course. So everyone needs to get a private health insurance. And this is common knowledge here these days. Everyone talks about it. Uh, private health insurance is a must. Most youngsters will have um, corporate health insurance from their company. And they feel that is enough. Or they make themselves feel, feel ki that is enough. And when we need more, we will take it in But the idea is take it as soon as possible for a few reasons. Mainly, usually in a corporate policy, not always, but in uh, many corporate policies, there is a co-payment ka clause. Hota hai. A co-payment means that you have to pay some amount of your medical bill. So, you have to pay some amount of your medical bill. So, if you have to pay some amount of your medical bill, then you have to pay some amount of your or corporate insurance, mein, aapko 20, usme se, and your insurance may take care of the rest of the 80,000. So you need a policy where you can be covered 100%. Theka? So in private policies, it is up to you whether you want to decide to have a, a co-payment or not to have a co-payment. Mostly people will take a no co-payment policy where the insurance company will pay everything. So that is one very important thing. Take a private insurance policy which covers you and if you have a family, take a floater policy, which covers you, your spouse, your kids, your parents, whatever the case may be. Okay. Now, in health insurance, there's another thing called a top-up policy. It's the best kept secret of the health insurance world. Now, firstly, I said, so your private policy, let's say, should be between 10 lakhs and 20 lakhs ka cover. And it's very pretty cheap to get these policies. Policy Bazaar, pe jake, you compare those things and you'll see all your options. That's the best thing to do. Once you have your base cover of 10 to 20 lakhs, then look at your top-up cover. Now, top-up insurance is that the insurance company will say, look boss, you already have a 10 lakh ka base cover. Now, you can take one more policy for, let's say, 20 lakhs, which will come in only after the first 10 lakhs. So, for example, to keep it simple, let's say you have come down with a serious, very serious illness. Okay, and you are hospitalized and all your bills, etc. have come to 12 lakhs. Now your base policy is 10 lakhs. So your base policy will take care of that 10 lakhs. But there is a 2 lakh deficit now because your bill has come to 12 lakhs. So your top up policy will now kick in and it will pay for the bill above 10 lakhs. So it's called a top up because it is applicable only above a certain threshold amount. 
so those top up policies are very cheap very cheap you can get it for um, i mean i don't know the numbers of the bat but you can get it for half if not less of your floater policy ka or your base policy ka cost so you need a base plan for 10 to 20 lakhs you need a top up plan it's very cheap so you can look at 20 lakhs plus so you can get a full cover of 30 to 40 lakhs pretty cheap if you're a young person and then also the term insurance now term insurance firstly what is it term insurance ka matlab function ek hi hota hai it's not a complicated policy ki if you are unfortunately not there tomorrow if you die for any reason then your nominee the people who depend on you should get a lump sum payout it's as simple as that the best way to understand this is it is like car insurance car insurance kya hota hai ki aap ya bike insurance aap car insurance jab lete ho you pay a particular premium and if something happens to the car then that money gets paid now uh, do you ho- now everyone takes car and bike insurance but do you hope that you have to use it aisa koi kehta hai kya ki shit i wish my car gets into an accident to main wo insurance ka use kar lu aisa hota nahi hai no one says that right so basically the life insurance is like that where you pay for it you take a cover but you hope that you never have to use it so you should hope that your money goes waste so life insurance ke um, products mein there is only one that most people should look at which is term insurance you pay the premium every year and the insurance company gives you um, uh, a, a gives your nominee a payout in case you are uh, not there tomorrow that's it people get confused between life insurance term insurance and other life insurance policies so endowment policies bhi hote hain uh, pension plans hote hain और यूलिप्स भी होता है ये सारे तीनों पॉलिसीज में एक लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कंपोनेंट होता है और एक इन्वेस्टमेंट कंपोनेंट होता है तो वी कॉल दिस हाइब्रिड इन्वेस्टमेंट इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसीज पीपल शुड स्टे अवे फ्रॉम दिस तो ओनली लुक एट टर्म पॉलिसी नाउ टर्म पॉलिसी में एक अवर्जन है इंडिया में क्योंकि लोग कहते हैं यार मैं पैसा वेस्ट क्यों करूँ आई एम पुटिंग ऑल माई मनी इन बट आई एम नॉट गेटिंग एनी थिंग आउट फॉर द सेम रीजन दैट यूर पुटिंग इन कार इंश्योरेंस और बाइक इंश्योरेंस यूर पुटिंग इन यू होप की यूज ना हो पर अगर कुछ एक्सीडेंट हुआ तो फिर मतलब यूज में तो आएगा ही आएगा सेम वे टर्म इंश्योरेंस में आइडियली यू विल नेवर हैव टू यूज इट बट इफ अनफॉर्चुनेटली यू पास अवे प्री मेच्योरली हु विल टेक केयर ऑफ योर फैमिली द टर्म इंश्योरेंस कम्स इन तो यू शुड टेक एज मच एज पॉसिबल एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल और एक चीज है इंश्योरेंस के बारे में जो काफी लोग समझते नहीं है इंश्योरेंस इज नॉट एन ऑफ द शेल्फ प्रोडक्ट मतलब यू कैन जस्ट वॉक इन टू एन इंश्योरेंस कंपनी एंड से यार मुझे इंश्योर करा दो you have to apply for insurance so application in term insurance the application has two parts one is medical and one is financial so if you have a serious illness the insurance company may say ki boss you are you are too big a risk for us to insure uh, so we sorry but we can't give you an insurance policy aisa bhi ho sakta hai right now do you want to take that chance best is not to take the chance get insured as early as possible taki ye problem baad mein aaye nahi right now the second is your financial um, situation kyunki you can take term insurance about 10x to 20x your salary theek hai so you need to show through the, the company will want to see your bank, um, itr statements itr filings to see your income based on that income they will insure you towards a cap of 10x or 20x your annual salary so you should be in a position whenever you are in a strong earning position you should maximize the amount of insurance term insurance cover that you can get because this also happens like if people unfortunately get fired from their job they get laid off for some reason and they are jobless for some time so their salary falls so basically the amount of term insurance they get will also fall based on their salary that they get so never take your health for granted never take your income for granted when your health is good and your income is high get as much term insurance as possible aur aap early term insurance loge to iska ek ek bahut hi bada fayda hai ki wo insurance ka jo premium hota hai na that gets locked in so suppose you lock in if you are 25 years old and you get a insurance policy of let's say you know 2 crores for 10000 a year if you take a 30 year policy that 10000 will not increase at all for 30 years that's a big advantage think of how much you're saving every year every uh, as the policy 
But if you take that same policy when you're 40 years old, it will not cost you 10,000. It may cost you 25, 30,000 per year. And then that higher rate gets stuck, gets locked in for the life of the policy. So as early as you take it, the better. It saves you money and it increases your chances of actually getting an insurance policy. Based yeah. on- Finally, sir, could you share some common mistakes you have seen people do when it comes to investing? Most common. Okay, I'll start with one not automating your investments. People make the mistake of thinking, yeah, when I have the money, I'll invest. So I'll automate you, karlo, SIP, Q, Q start. Karlo. That's a very big mistake because usually we find an excuse to spend the money or wo investment manually. Hota nahi hai. So one big mistake is not setting up an SIP. Second mistake is trying to do active trading. Uh, I explained kiya tha ki most active traders lose money. But most youngsters, including me, started out trying to actively trade. Or uh, you end up losing money and you end up losing time. And like me, you may end up losing some hair also. Because yeah, it's a pain. Versus you know, looking at the screen, being stressed out all day, ki market up jara, down jara. It's something you can't control. No, you don't have any control over the weather. So do you try and you know you try and work around it? Agar, you know, rain hai, you wear a raincoat. Agar sunny hai, you wear a t-shirt. Aise hi karte hai na? So similarly, you have to adapt to the market. Don't try and make the market adapt to you. So don't try and actively trade too much. Third mistake I see people is they have too many mutual funds. So aisa hota hai ki I get lots of DMs on Instagram. And people have 10,000 ka SIP into 10 different funds. Now, technically speaking, there's nothing wrong. There's, there's no adverse effect ki usme se kuch nuksan hoga aapka, But it's completely unnecessary. Why put in 10 funds when you can just have one or two funds that do the job? You want to diversified investments, chahiye, right? You want to have a diversified portfolio. One mutual fund or two mutual funds is enough because the mutual funds are diversifying for you. If you invest in your own directly in stocks, you have to do your own diversification. Ka kaam karna padta. But if you are investing in the mutual funds, the fund manager is doing that for you. So one or two funds is more than enough. I have two reels on this. How much, how many funds should you buy uh, based on based on SIP amount? Nothing, matlab, this is just based on my experience interacting with people. Aisa kuch hard and fast rules nahi hai. But my experience hai, which is easy to implement and make sense. I uske, uske se reel a reel. Um, what else here? The other mistakes are not getting private health insurance. Um, that is one big mistake which we spoke about. Um, I think uh, that that those are the big ones. I'll say one more thing which is becoming increasingly important these days um, is pay attention to your credit score or John Kathy, Sybil score. Uh, credit score is the you know general name. Sybil is the name of the company. So let's say I'm Xerox, okay, Xerox copy will say like that. We say Sybil score. So your credit score becomes important because it will mean that you, when you need a loan later on in life, uh, you will get a lower interest rate. Because credit score ke uh, aadhar pe, you are either approved for loans or declined, and your interest rate is dependent on your credit score. So someone who has a higher credit score will get a lower rate. Someone who has a lower credit score will get a higher rate. And <clears throat> later on in life, if you want to buy a house or go home loan, lena hai, the difference between an 8% loan and a 9% loan, you know, 15, 20 lakhs or more, the life of that loan. So this becomes very important. People don't, are not still very aware of this, but awareness has started increasing about it. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Aditya, for joining in and sharing your insights with my audience. I think that people would have learned a thing or two about personal finance and will pay more attention towards investing careful investing thanks Sanskar I really hope that helps um, you know people can always get in touch with me on Instagram if they wish send me a DM whenever I have time I'm happy to respond to questions um, and yeah thanks for having me on hope we'll meet again <laughs>